Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brian. I'm going to show you my reptiles, my two corn snakes, and my crusty gecko. So first, I'm going to get out my female and monistic <coughs> corn snake. And she's right there. She's poking her head out. I have a uh, pot bowl, um, which she can turn upside down and put a hole in the bottom right here. And they just get in there and, you know. Hide on the bottom. So here she is. <coughs> Female Hellenistic corn snake. She is 31 inches, I'm pretty sure. Um, so here she is. She's um, pretty cool. I'll be breeding um, 2009. At the, probably at, I'll put them together at the end of February. And I'll probably have eggs, you know, around at the end of March. And then and, and probably babies around April, May, around there. So yeah, that should be pretty cool. I'll be breeding her with the guy I'll get out next. His name's Oak. So he's pretty cool. Alright, let's put her up here. Uh, I have Aspen Pines. And my mom bought a candle. And I've turned it upside down. And cut a little hole into it. And you don't have to use aspen pines. You can use paper towels. But I just prefer to use this. Alright. Get out oak here. If you're wondering why I have a 10 gallon. Um, just because I don't have a 20 gallon yet. But as soon as I get one. I will definitely put him in it. Um, same for him. I have a pot with a hole at the top. This is my male oak tea. That's why his name's Oak. And he is a male Oak tea. He is probably 33 to 34 inches long. I'll be reading him with her. Let's just look him up. Let's get out of here. Uh, here he is. And you can see his black checkers under here. I love the black checkers. That's what I like about these guys. Um, and I think when I breed them, I'll probably get some normals. And some more Oakatees and Amblinistics. So if you guys are interested, let me know. But I won't have any babies till May or April. April or May. So if you want any, go ahead and contact me now so I can save some for you. So there he is. And now I'm going to get out my Crested Gecko after I put this guy out. Now I got most of my information on reading from this book, um, Corn Snakes, and it's wrote by Kathy Love and Bill Love. They have um, a lot of pictures, a lot of different kinds of corn snakes, and they have a lot of information on breeding. So, if y'all are, like, interested in breeding or just getting a corn snake, um, definitely get that book. It's pretty cool. And, um, Corn Snake 33, your videos are awesome. I watch them all the time. Every time you put a new one up, I watch it. Alright. So, thanks for sending out all your videos. Alright, this is Reppy, short for reptile. And I'm going to get him out. Alright. This is a, uh, eyelash crested gecko, but crested gecko for short. Um, they climb up in trees. That's where they live. See, he's climbing on me. And they live in a rainforest, so you have to spray them every day. They get their tree they get their water from like the edge of the cage and it has some leaves in there. So you can get his leaves off of. And the coolest thing about these guys is they can jump. Um jump in the wild they would jump from tree to tree. But um this guy, if he'll do it, he'll sometimes jump from my thumb. No, uh, no, he won't do it. Sometimes he'll jump to my shirt or something. That's how they get their uh, crickets. They eat crickets. And, and the surprising thing about these guys is you can actually feed them baby food. And there's this thing called uh, Crested Gecko Diet. And you can mix it in with some baby food. And definitely would recommend the meat, um, meat flavored baby food because they are carnivores. So, and they have eyelashes. It's pretty cool. And they, um, they don't, that's why they call eyelash crested geckos. They don't have, they don't blink or anything. They still lick their eyeballs. 
but they have like eyelashes and they have these spiky things down the side to keep away, to tell predators to, you know, stay away. So, and he's an adult male, so he's pretty cool. Alright, I'll see y'all guys later and I'll probably post another video on how to uh, clean a corn snake cage and a crusty gecko cage, so thanks.